Hey friends, so today I had a little revelation and before I come to that I wanted to show you those USB-C to micro USB adapters which I've been using to connect all the devices um, like this flashlight to my USB-C power bank or um, my charger that I'm also using for my phone. Um, so I've been using those for a while and they, they, they worked fine in the end, but I also have those micro USB to USB-C connectors, so they basically do the other way around. And those are a lot more interesting, because as you know, the USB-C connector has to have some internal pull-up resistors to advertise itself as power source or power sink. And if it doesn't have that, then it may happen that your device is not going to charge from a power bank or, or USB-C um, capable um, socket or a wall, wall device. So um, to check if, if it's actually going to work with those or not, um, I've brought the classical C2C cable queue and um, a high-end USB-C cable where I know that basically all the internal connections are there. So you can see that this cable has every, everything fed through it. it this USB 2, USB 3, 3.2 um, power delivery, everything um, is enabled. And if I directly connect the USB C to micro USB adapters into each other, I basically get out the USB C to USB C adapter, um, and we can now check uh, how they are internally wired. So if I first. Mm, black or white, let's start with the black one. If I connect this like that, then you can see that, that with the same cable there are already a lot of connections missing. This is to be expected because um, the micro USB connector um, in the middle is only rated for USB 2.0, so it cannot do USB 3.1 or um, 3.2 in any way because it doesn't feature the necessary connections. You, you may have seen the, the broader use, micro USB connectors that have those internally. So what you can see here now is, is that we have ground the Webus connected, so um, it can do power um, theoretically, and the D plus and D minus, so it's also a USB 2.0 or 1.1 device if you're going to be really slow. But it's no, no um, USB 3 device, so no RX2, TX2, TX1, TX2 um, is going to be connected. Um, What's really interesting is, and I don't know if you can actually see this, um, on the CC1 pin, um, okay, so maybe the contrast is a bit bad, but on the CC1 pin, we can see a slight shimmer. Um, maybe if I shield the other LEDs, no. So you have to believe me on that. There is a slight shimmer on the CC1 pin, which means that this pin is pulled to the power rail, the rebus, the five volts internally, um, via a resistor. So this cable or this adapter is actually advertising itself um, as a power source. If you, for example, take a look at the other adapter pair um, and connect it like this, we have roughly the same um, LEDs lit, so it is similar. But what you can see if you look closely, that neither the CC1 nor the CC2 pin are, pins are lit. So this adapter pair is not advertising itself as a power source. Um, even if it is connected to a power source in the end, it won't be able to um, rely this to, to the consumer because it's, it's not actually um, connected. Um, and we can test this if this is actually true. Um, if we take this connector pair, and I've already prepared um, a USB cable that is connected um, to my wall outlet. And if I use the bad combination, and connect it to this power bank, which features a USB-C connector um, up here. And again, we have a bit of a problem with the contrast, but you have to believe me. Now you can see it. That's the USB-C connector in the middle. And if I connect it like this, nothing is going to happen. So it's, it's not lighting up or anything. Um, the, the cable itself has also a little display included too, so we can see if something is happening. So obviously, this pair of connectors, the, these adapters, they have a missing link, so they are missing this, this one internal resistor, so it's not advertising itself as a power source. This pair, on the other hand, where we, we, we saw the, the CC pin being lit, if you connect this to the power bank, 
then it will immediately light up and the cable will also light up to show that it's now connected to a sink and will start displaying the, the transmitted power and it's not transmitting power because the um, power bank is basically full, all the way full. But we can see that this pair of adapters is actually working, so it's, uh, it's adver advertising itself as a power so source while, while the other pair is not. And that's really interesting because from, from outside you are not able to see it, and if you look closely this one is even a bit bent in the end, so you would expect that this is the worst one. But if you have a tester like this, then you immediately know and you know why some devices are charging and others are not. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments or write me a mail, whatever you'd like.